Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for organic Bible study that's fresh and delicious here in the Bible Bistro. This week, we're looking at the first section in Psalm 119, that is the Aleph section, the first eight verses, and we're going to do, we're going to read today verse eight, so if you have your Bible there and you want to open it up, uh, it's verse eight of Psalm 119. If you don't, if you can't get to your Bible, I will be glad to read that for you. It's just one little couplet, I will keep thy statutes, O forsake me not utterly. That reminds me that I should have said this at the introduction to the psalm. We have mostly couplets throughout Psalm 119. I'm not going to say exclusively because I don't remember right offhand if it's exclusively couplets, but I'm pretty sure it is. And so this is just your general Hebrew poetic form, the couplet, which uses that type of poetry all throughout the book of the psalms. Not exclusively, but the majority of what we have in the book of the Psalms is couplet couplet phrases, couplet verses. And that's what we have here in 119. I will keep thy statutes, O forsake me not utterly, is verse 8. And you'll notice how this nicely wraps up the prayer. His prayer began there in verse 5. And in verse 5 he said, O, o that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. And now notice how it ends. I will keep thy statutes, Oh, forsake me not utterly. It's, isn't that beautiful? The, the phrasing, the way it's worded, it's almost a mirror image of itself. Oh, that my ways were directed. I will keep thy, or oh, forsake me not utterly is the last phrase there in eight. Oh, that my ways were directed, the first phrase there in five. So he's still in this prayer. He's asking God to keep him, to help him to keep his statutes, because it's in keeping the statutes that the prayer is based. This is the this is the force. This is the intention. Let me keep thy statutes. Let me ask you a question. Wouldn't this be a great prayer to pray? Oh, I think so. I think that we could add this prayer uh, to our prayer regime on a regular basis, perhaps daily, maybe weekly. We could always be praying this prayer. Every time we bow our heads, we could say, Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. I will keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly. Couldn't we pray that prayer? Oh, man, that would just be wonderful, wouldn't it? I mean, that would be a great addition to our prayer life. Again, praying the scripture is such a powerful and profound way to pray because we have God's words. We're using them in prayer. And I mean, can you not mean this? Yes, sir, you can mean this. Oh, that my ways, I mean, thump the chest here, my ways, point at yourself, my ways, I will keep your statutes. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. And if you say that, then you you recognize the fact that your ways are not directed to keep his statutes. And what do you need? You need that relationship with God's word, you know, to have respect unto his commandments and to have learned his righteous judgments. In that sense, then maybe I'll be able to keep his statutes. And then he makes this confession, this positive confession here in 8. I will keep thy statutes. That's because that's the track I'm on here. I'm on this track of, you know, I'm in your word and I'm studying your word and I'm respecting it and I'm learning it. Are you learning it? I hope you're learning the Word of God, studying the Word of God, and meditating on the Word of God, and praying the Word of God. Let it just invade every aspect of your spiritual life. Oh, forsake me not utterly. And you know that's a prayer that he's going to answer. He's going to answer that prayer. He's not going to forsake you. He will never forsake you. He will always be with you. He tabernacles among us. He is in us. I hope you'll join me again next time, and we'll pick up Psalm 119, the bait section, which will be verses 9 through 16 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.